Uh oh, Richard, what have you done now? Well, I thought I would make a really solid case on getting heating appliances serviced. You know, it's a crazy idea. <laughs> Once a year, right? But, yeah, in this case, it's a gas fired furnace. This is the baseline in America how most people heat their houses. And it's pretty simple to look at as a device. It has a return air right here and a blower that pushes air up through the unit, up into the ductwork, and goes out to heat or cool the air in the building. Gotcha. Now, inside that air is also the combustion side. So if you look right here on the front side, there's gas burners, right, a gas valve, and a fan in this case. And what it does is it burns into a thing called a heat exchanger. Yep. This is a sealed unit that takes all those flue products, heats up that heat exchanger. The exhaust that is caustic and filled with bad stuff, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, will go out either to a chimney or to outside. Right. And that air passes by the heat exchanger, touches it but doesn't mix with that bad air, and gets heated up. And that right. gets pushed throughout the house yes, and we're right. good to go. So a proper service call that'll happen with any decent company, it'll come that you'll as a checklist. And what they'll do is they will check the gas pressure coming in from the supply, the gas pressure at the gas valve itself, and that determines how much gas mixes down here at the burners. These burners will ignite into the heat exchanger. They'll also check the safety devices wherever they are, here, here, and elsewhere, to be sure they're all operational. They'll do a combustion test with an analyzer, and that'll go in and it'll see temperature, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, NOx, and you can read a lot into that. You can see if it's dialed in right. If they don't, they'll dial it in right. They don't want it burning too hot. They don't want it burning Absolutely. too cold. They want it right. burning clean. Right, and there's plenty to be learned from this. It, you really can't do it without some sort of combustion. You can't just go, yeah, I think it's fine. Yeah. Okay? It's an important device in the building particularly if it goes out, but it also can be dangerous if you don't take care of it. And do you suggest people have this done once a year on a, on a I machine? I do, I yeah. do. This is one thing that you really want to run. So this is heating only. Right. Uh, there could be a heating cooling Correct. combo. Right, so this is one, this is, a, this is the baseline furnace, this is the basic furnace, this is the more elaborate furnace, but I've shown you the coil on top of it, now this is air conditioning. Same thing happens, fan comes back. Wait, wait, let me just interrupt for a second. Yeah. You're telling me that the gas and the heat all happens down on this Everything, box. Everything the same is over here. And you just put this box on top. But on top, top is this air conditioning section, oh, okay? okay? So now, what should also be done on every service call is to change the filter. Even homeowners should be changing the filter. You'd be amazed at the number of people that say, ah, oh, that filter's clogged, and they take it off and leave that naked to let air come in. And guess what happens? That air comes in, it doesn't probably bother the heat exchanger too much, but look at inside this. This is the cooling coil. See how fine these fins are? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now what happens is if you're blowing cat hair and dust and lint up in the backside, what's going to happen is it's going to clog the air conditioning coil. Gotcha. And all of a sudden, you're going to impede the airflow, not only for the cooling, but for the heating as well. And if this gets clogged up, if this gets well, covered then with it's you got to take it apart because it's blown from the backside, and there's you got to take carefully with a vacuum brush. You got to get in there without bending the fins yep. and make a coil cleaner that can do something, but it's not going to clean it if it's completely clogged with grease and everything else. Yep. It means you're going to have to really take it apart, clean it like crazy. You really can't have enough filtration. The more filtration, the better. You know, this is not enough, I don't think. This is what you should have as a baseline. Ounce of prevention, gotcha. Right. And if I don't do this, what's the risk? I lose efficiency, it doesn't turn on when I want. You certainly lose efficiency, but I brought this one along because I just, I just went to a, an HVAC contractor's yard and I said, hey, you got any furnace? He said, we just took this one out yesterday. Look at this. So this is a furnace that had never been serviced. They, they wasn't their customer. And so if you look down carefully right here, there's cracks on every one of these sections, that, which geez. means that the carbon monoxide, every time the gas burner was on, that was, was supposed to be coming out here. Correct, was leaking into the living space. And the only reason ah. they actually discovered is they were so hot this summer, they decided to call this company to have them add air conditioning. They finally had a combustion analysis and they literally it saved their life. That could have been deadly. Could have been. It's so, important, it really is important. So had they done a regular service call, I noticed that you you know, you know checked the flu I would have picked it up, I would have picked it up, I would have picked it up in the Airstream. Do they test that? Sure, you go in here and you make sure if it should be absolutely this clean, beautiful air. If you uh -huh. see any CO, you know something's cross-contaminating between it. Well, if they're not all convinced now, that should convince no, it's, them it's right there. Call a pro, this one's, you don't do it yourself, you need the devices, call a pro. Good, all right, thank all you right. Richard. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button to make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.